Um, well, there used to be a trampoline right here. gone through my fence and into the camper. Oh, great. Uh, let's take a look at the fence. Gosh, I gotta figure out how to move this. That's a good, I don't know, 15, 20 yards. And it rolled that thing right through my fence into the back of the camper. And that, that trampoline actually has a net that goes all the way around it. If you can see, it's bent up. And it's so windy still. I don't know how I'm gonna move this. Well, we've been wanting to get rid of the trampoline for a while. The thing almost fell on me. I gotta get this off the camper though because it's beating it, the wind. It didn't just roll through the fence, like it snapped. These are pretty big. And they're like four inch round fence post and it snapped it right out of the ground. Every one of these are concreted in the ground. Let's take a look at the other side of the camper. Thankfully, the slides are in. It's starting to rain again. Man, look at that. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this. I called my wife and I told her, I said, wow, it's really loud outside. I mean, it almost sounded like a tornado came through, but they weren't, there was no tornado warnings or anything like that. And of course it's starting to rain now. There's no tornado warnings, but we got trash cans all the way up the driveway. Something from there. All these sticks, got a little bit of flooding in the driveway. And this, well, this had to come from somewhere. And I got another one all the way out here. I am a long ways from the house. Everything else on the camper seems to be good. I, you know, once the storm's over, I'll get up on top and check it. All right, more to come on the struggle of trying to move this as soon as I get help. Yeah, it's bright outside. It's literally like 15 minutes later. It looks like I've waited half the day. I think what I'm gonna do, cause this thing, the wind keeps catching it and banging it against the camper. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and start cutting this mesh up so that it's not a parachute, a 16 foot parachute sitting against my camper. Hoping that, that man, they put sticks through the these little twigs went right through the the netting. Jeez. <laughs> Alright guys, we got the trampoline off the camper, that was a lot of work. Um, 
yeah, that was the main priority. Now we got the trampoline in the backyard and now we got to fix the fence. So I was going to go to the Richmond RV Expo today. This is not the adventure that I was planning on taking today. So, but hey, gotta do what you gotta do. The aftermath. But, got our fence back up. And let's take a good look at the camper. There's definitely dirt all over it. The only part that looks like a scratch is like right here. It looks like that might come off too. Well, we might have gotten out of this without scratching the camper at all. I'm hopeful. But I do have to replace the antenna of the backup camera. Because that's gone. And it did it scratch up this corner trim a little bit. Channel right here where the screws are behind a little scratched up but that seems to be the extent of it thank goodness Whoa. next thing we got to do is load all this up I think our job for the day is done you know, it was a job that I wasn't anticipating. Well, I usually say, you know, until the next strange adventure, keep making your own, but I don't know that you want to make any like this, and I certainly hope it doesn't happen to any of you guys. Uh, but, you, you know, you deal with what you got. Uh, but thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click that bell, so that you're notified next time we release the next video. Thanks, guys.